Now with any growing setup, you want to be able to monitor your conditions. If you want to be monitoring your conditions, there's a variety of ways you can do that. But keep in mind that when you're monitoring conditions, you also be able to be concerned with the units that you're using. You should be familiar with the units you're using, why you're using them, and what they tell you, what the expected range is for the given unit. So the, we're going to go over some common ones here, EC, TDS, CF, and PPM. This is EC referring to electrical conductivity, total dissolved solids, conductive factor, and parts per million. Some of these are interchangeable terms, like from inches to um, centimeters. Uh, so be, again, mindful of what you're using and what it measures. So uh, if a monitor or an example of one is called a Blue Lab Guardian Monitor, and this is an easy monitor to look at three critical conditions all at once. It's very useful for hydroponics and for those using easy cloners. You can see the connectivity. You can switch between parts per million as this is set here. I can also go to TDS or EC or CF because those are interchangeable terms. Temperature, you can measure it in Fahrenheit and Celsius, and pH is um, a nice 6.5 here. So these nutrient concentrations, is that's basically what we're going to be keeping an eye on and monitoring. Uh, our nutrients are salts, which can be measured based on the ability to conduct electricity through a solution. The higher the concentration, the more conductivity, the more diluted, the less conductivity. So starting with electrical conductivity, EC, pure water, such as reverse osmosis, has an EC of zero. However, the mineral ions added, the more readily uh, the water will conduct. That's again, kind of sending a pulse to the electricity through to see what, um, how quickly it passes through the solution. The EC of your nutrient solution is fairly reliable measure on how much general nutrients are dissolved in your water. EC is the most widely accepted measurement for the strength of nutrient solutions and is the standard in Europe and many other parts of the world, but typically for whatever reason, North America tends to like TDS, uh, total dissolved solids, but there's a couple more issues with that one when compared to EC. The total dissolved solids, and I think it's easy to understand, at least the initial name, it's the amount of solids dissolved in solution. And TS qualifies the concentration of these diluted solids in a given um, aqueous solution. The problem though with TDS is that accurately measuring the nutrient solution, you really need to evaporate all the liquid and measure the residue, which kind of goes against having a nutrient solution in the first place. There's also conversion factors and it can get messy. Um, so even though this is typically widely used by a lot of growers, may not necessarily be the best. Um, CF, or conductive factor, is basically the same as EC because it tells you the, the exact same thing. It's how strong your, or how concentrated your feed solution is. And they both measure the rate of electrical conductivity in your solution. The higher the mineral content, the higher the conductivity rating. So that's why if you notice back um, on, the la on the blue lab guardian, EC slash CF, that's not EC divided by CF, that's EC or CF, both kind of interchangeable terms in this case. Lastly, we have parts per million, and parts per million is referring to the concentration of solution or minerals in the water. To put parts per million into perspective, a 1% solution or a 1 out of 100 solution is the same um, solution containing 10,000 parts per million. So again, 1 out of 100 is the same as 10,000 out of a million. Kind of what's here, 1 million black dots or pixels, each tile with white or gray background contains a thousand dots. It's going to give you that concept or that idea of exactly what a million may look like.